but I just got a message from the mailroom. Your first issue of Tempo has been delivered. Oh, it has? Where is it? Let me, I want to see it. Well, they're bringing up several copies right now. Yes, come in. Just got some new issues of Tempo. Oh, Tad, yes. they'll bring them here. Check this out, huh? Look at that. <gasps> oh. Some cover, huh? Oh, it came out beautifully. It's fantastic. It's a beautiful woman. Oh, oh, there's my name from the desk of Erica Kane. Oh, isn't that exciting? Oh, Tad, thank you. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. Oh, I just hope it sounds like hotcakes. I'm sure it will. Oh, I'm so excited. This is absolutely the proudest moment of my life. Oh, I wish Mike were here to share it with me. Here you go, Erica. I managed to nail one more copy. Oh, thank you. You know, I think the staff is squirreling them away for collector's items. <laughs> oh, Alan. Erica? Yes? You do not believe this place. It's like a madhouse. People are going crazy over the new sh issue. They think it's the hottest thing to hit the printed page. Really? I wouldn't kid you. Not only that, I think you've made a sizable splash in the world of publishing. Oh, well, that's great to hear, that's great to hear, but of course, our, our readership is going to have the last word because I really have changed the format very drastically. I'm, I'm sure they'll love it, but I got this idea. How about I go down to the newsstands and snoop around, do a little spying, see about the word, word of mouth? Brilliant idea, Tad. Very good. Okay, I want you to go down to the newsstand in the building because okay. that's where everybody goes and shops and everything, and I want you to tell me the comments. Okay, I'll bet you 10 to 1 they love it, though. Oh, yeah, please. I can't wait to hear. Be back as soon as I can. Right. destiny without you. Oh, yes, you do. You see, soon, they'll be given to you a great opportunity, a chance to change your life. It may come from an unexpected place, but you mustn't be afraid to meet with her to the very last minute, okay? Why, why didn't he call me? Why couldn't he have called me so I could say why to her? really, really fast, Nina. Once, once she lost her appeal, they carried out the sentence immediately. But Covington, no. she doesn't belong there. Nina, Nina, relax. She, she'll be treated well, I promise. Oh, are you kidding? You remember what that place was like when Brooke no, was there. She won't be it's there awful. that long. We'll, we'll, we'll get her out of Stop there. Stop saying that. You know, you can't do anything to help her. No, I can, and I will, Nina. Eventually. Nina, listen to me. Listen to me. I am doing everything in my power to, to vindicate your mother. And I'm not going to stop until I do. Cliff, what you're doing is not enough. You may be able to fool yourself, but you can't fool me any longer. It's useless to keep trying. Here you go, Daisy. You're home for at least eight years. to the federal penitentiary. Our son came home from school today in tears because of what the little kids were saying on the playground. They were saying his grandmother is a jailbird. Before you know it, 
They're going to be saying his mother poses for pornographic wait a minute, pictures. Wait a minute. Is, is Bobby all right? No, he is not all right. He is upset. He is hurt. He is confused. I don't think he's ever going to be able to go back and face those people again. We are none of us all right. And you are standing here trying to tell me that everything is okay and you will get her out of prison. We... Just like that. You cannot do it. You cannot get her out of there soon enough. She cannot survive that long. They are not going to leave her alone. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not come near me right now. I don't think you understand how I feel. I don't think you understand how much she means to me. You're trying to feed me all of this childish pap about how you're going to get her out of prison, how she's going to be free. Well, the f fact is, right now, she is already there. She is locked up like a animal in a cage. I don't think you really understand, and I don't think you care about my mother or about me. I think that is a lie, and you know it. You know, I didn't even attend my own sister's funeral so I could be here with you. I didn't realize it was that much of a sacrifice. No, I didn't think of it as a sacrifice either. I thought I was helping you. And don't tell me I don't understand what's going on. And don't tell me I'm not trying to do anything about it. I just lost my damn TV job because of this mess. I have done more work going after suspects and facts and information than I have in my own hospital office. And when I'm not there, I'm at home trying to bolster your spirits because I do know how much you care about your mother. I just lost my sister. Do you have any idea what that feels like? Look, I know Linda did a lot of rotten things, Nina. I know that. But she was my sister, and I loved her. And I think it's awful the way she died. Awful! And I can't do anything about it. I have to live with that for the rest of my life. No, what about me? My mother is rotting away in a prison for a crime she didn't commit, and it's all because of your sister! Damn, Nina! Are you really that caught up in yourself? That you have no idea how this is affecting other people? Look, I will carry the guilt for my sister's part in this whole thing. But it doesn't help at all for you to keep digging and criticizing. It doesn't help. I do care, Nina. I care a hell of a lot more than you could ever imagine. I, I keep losing track of how all of this is affecting you. I don't mean to do that. I don't mean to. I'm just, can you forgive me? I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt you. You know, this is upsetting all of us. But you and I have to stick together. You and I have to support each other. I know, and you've been supporting me so well. I just... I want to try to do the same thing for you. I really want to try to help you. You know, I love you very much. And I love you. Good talk, Bob. Um, yes. It's, a uh, Tanya. She says it's Donna for you. Hello, Donna. Josh, let me fill the bird bath. They, they, it was almost completely dry, you know? The poor birds were all parched. They were flocking around. I'll have to speak to the gardener about that. Yeah, you should. You really should. Are you going to see Erica in New York? That's one of the reasons I'm going. Today is Erica's first edition of Tempo. I sure like to see her again. She was always so nice to me. Just not the same around here without her, Adam. Well, Stuart, you must remember that uh, Erica and I are no longer married. She has her own life now. She's a managing editor of uh, Tempo at the moment. She's very, very busy. But you're going to see her? Well, yes, on business, but there's not going to be any time for visiting. Just for one moment would be so wonderful. Please, can I go with you? I promise I'll be good. We, we can even have Josh go, if you want. He won't let me get into trouble. All right, you can come along. Oh, thank you. But remember, when Erica and I are talking business, you must not interrupt. Oh, I won't. I'll, I'll sit just as quiet as a mouse and just, just look at her. 
She's so beautiful. Yes, she is. 